blessings to you on this Thursday and the last week of Easter. We'll often say our morning prayers before some of the beautiful pieces of art and statues and icons of the church. But today, we go down to the bowels of the church, to the steam rooms of the church. Uh, Sunday is the Feast of Pentecost, and we think of the Holy Spirit, which serves as the steam of the church that gives warmth and life to the church. In the same way, dating all the, all the way back to the 1850s, these old pipes have given warmth and steam uh, to this church. We pay over $100,000 a year in, in steam. This is so very important, and I give thanks today to Reese, our steam man, who crawls throughout all these pipes, discovering which pipes work and which pipes are leaking and which pipes are not working to make this church more and more efficient. So today, what a pleasure it is to give you a tour throughout this morning prayer service of all the different uh, uh, positions and nooks and crannies of our steam rooms. Bless you. Again, morning prayer today in the small steam room. This is where the steam comes into the church um, from the street. And during the winter, it would be impossible to stand in here because of the heat. But just last week, the steam was cut off from the street. So we begin on page 42 of our prayer book. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouths shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ the Lord ascendeth into heaven. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. We praying together the Jubilate on page 45. O be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with the song. Be ye sure that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. O go your way into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth from generation to generation. Alleluia, Christ the Lord ascendeth into heaven. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. The psalm for the day is Psalm 105 on page 738 of the prayer book. Let us pray verses 1 through 8 together. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, and speak of all his marvelous works. Glory in his holy name, though the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Search for the Lord and his strength. Continually seek his face. Remember the marvels he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O offspring of Abraham, his servant, O children of Jacob, his chosen. He is the Lord our God. His judgments prevail in all the world. He has always been mindful of his covenant, the promise he made for a thousand generations. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 9, verses 1 through 8. After getting to a boat, Jesus crossed the sea and came to his own town. And just then, some people were carrying a paralyzed man lying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. Then some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. But Jesus, perceiving their thoughts, said, Why do you think it evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, Your sins are too forgiven, or to say, Stand up and walk? But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, Stand up, take up your bed, and go to your home. And he stood up and went to his home. When the crowd saw it, they were filled with awe, and they glorified God, who had given such authority to human beings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And turning to page 51. Let us pray together the song of Simeon. Lord, now let us thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. 
Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And our Apostles' Creed continues on page 53. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, with thy spirit. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And praying suffrages be on page 55. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine heritage. Govern them, and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever, world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy be upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. Today I pray a colic for the parish itself, for its steam pipes and for its blessed souls. Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and on earth, hear our prayers for this parish family of the Church of the Transfiguration. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life, and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forevermore. Amen.